So I would have waited until July 23rd to announce this at the Xbox Games reveal, but I do not run a video game company. But anyways, Phil Spencer just announced this morning via Xbox Wire in a blog post that the Project X Cloud streaming service will go live in September. Literally, in about two months, we'll be able to stream whatever games we want from the Game Pass library, or maybe every game we want from the Game Pass library. That's not that's not truly clear just yet. We'll be able to play those games on our mobile and on our tablets as well. So no longer are we stuck to playing our video games on the TV when it comes to Xbox. So if I was Google Stadia, I would be, I'd be looking over my shoulder because Stadia, you have to buy the games outright. And a lot of the games that you're purchasing, you have to purchase at full price, even though those games are on massive discounts on the consoles. For instance, like Destiny 2, like you're paying 60 bucks for Destiny 2, but you can go on PS4 or you can go on Xbox and you can pay $19.99 for it and have the exact same experience. So for Project X Cloud coming out and for $14.99 a month, if you have a Game Pass Ultimate subscription service, so not only are you getting the games that are on Game Pass that you do not have to pay for, you also have the games on PC that you can play on PC and now you can play those games on your tablet and your mobile. So so this is huge. This is huge for, for gaming. It's huge for Xbox and I think this is going to work. Game Pass is already working. There's no doubt that it's, that it's going to work but I think this is really going to change gaming. Like Xbox is doing a lot of really good things despite you know them not having a bunch of strong first party titles hopefully that gets rectified on july 23rd but being able to play these games and i've i've, I've played the beta I'm, I'm a beta guy and i've been playing games like halo and random games like tekken and other indie titles here on my mobile phone so here's the the thing that i use to play my controller my clip and then i attach my phone to it and literally i'm sitting on a couch and, and I'm playing Halo, sitting in front of my TV while I'm watching like wrestling or, or some like crime show or something weird like that. It, it's just freaking amazing to be able to do that. And now it's finally here and it's gonna go live for everybody who has Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. And I'm so freaking happy. So a couple other things that Phil Spencer mentioned in the blog post as well. He did mention the Xbox All Access service, uh, which is pretty much a service where you can purchase an Xbox Series X for a low monthly cost and then there's no additional like service fees or interest rates or anything like that. So it's a, a cheaper way for people to get the latest and greatest consoles but not have to pay all of the money up front. And he did announce that that's gonna be for the Xbox Series X as well. So all of our budget consumers and budget gamers can look out for that as well. That's awesome. Of course, he doubled down on the smart delivery initiative, naming games like Cyberpunk and Assassin's Creed, just to name a few games that you purchase on your Xbox One and then immediately upgrade them to the Xbox Series X when you make the purchase. So nobody's being forced to jump from one generation to another. You do it at your own pace and you'll always be able to upgrade and just move right into where you left off on the new consoles and it's, it's, that's great as well. <laughs> that is amazing. All of your controllers for the Xbox One will transfer to the Series X. You don't have to buy any new controllers or joysticks. I mean of course one comes with your Series X but if you have elite controllers or adaptive controllers they also transfer over to the Xbox Series X. So like in my case, I have probably six or seven different controllers. I don't have to purchase any more controllers unless there's some like special edition like the Cyberpunk one that was, that was awesome. <laughs> and last but not least, he talked about backwards compatibility. Just wanna cover the important things here. But he made sure to mention that four generations of games are going to be available on Xbox Series X on day one. That means 
that you can go back and play. Maybe not the full library of games, but you can go back to games on the 360, the Xbox One, and the original Xbox as soon as the Xbox Series X drops. That means that the game library is massive at launch. So not only will we have new games, not only will we have Xbox One games, all of the classics as well will be available on Xbox Series X. And this is making me so happy. Xbox is doing a service to us gamers and they're doing an amazing job. I'm so happy. And, and that's that's my rant for today. I'm, I'm just happy. I'm a happy gamer. I'm a happy gamer. And I'm gonna I'm gonna have all the consoles anyway, but I'm a happy gamer. So thanks for watching guys. This is NT Certified. What do you guys think about xCloud? Are you playing xCloud? Do you plan to play xCloud? Will this convince you to buy an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate uh, service? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.